Hi, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. It is really, really, really good to be back with all of you on a Friday night. Um, and it's really good um, to be at Beit Chufa uh, for services personally. Um, you know, I got to go talk to the band right beforehand and, and um, I'm noticing that as things are opening up, at least where we are in the world, um, my heart is also opening up more again. And uh, I came across this text recently. Um, it was actually a book that I've like cracked open like a couple times. That was like a gift. You know how people like they, they give you like a really nice gift. That's a book and like you kind of open it and then you close it and you open it and you close it. So this is one of those books, but I've hung on to it this whole time. Um, and uh, it was a gift from my teacher, Rob Pinchas Giller, if you happen to know him. Um, and it's about the bedtime Shema. And in the introduction, it says, uh, the, a new understanding is the same as a new soul. A new understanding is the same as a new soul. And while theologically, maybe I have issues with that, I don't know, but like this, I, I know that experience. When I have a new understanding, if I feel like my soul, at the very least, if it's not a new soul, is a renewed soul. Um, so I want to invite you tonight, as things are opening up in the world, and, and maybe you're having old experiences that are new again, um, Maybe even, I was, I'll say this, I was away for a couple of weeks and I uh, was in a crowded room and it was really loud and hard to hear anybody. And it was really annoying. And it was absolutely delightful to be in a crowded room where it was hard to hear because it's been so long <laughs> since that's been the case. Um, and I, my soul was renewed even in that very annoying moment. Um, I want to invite you as things are opening up to be let yourself be renewed um, in whatever way is right for you and makes sense for you whether you're in the house whether you're living in LA or somewhere else in the world um, and tonight to let your soul be renewed tonight that is what Shabbat is all about to delight in Shabbat and to let your soul be renewed so with that I'm going to kick it over to the band for Bim Bomb. take it away guys Shabbat Shalom. We're going to keep going with one day. Matzah Yahoo's one day. We're going to get uh, Thea. So let me say who's over there first. We got Jesse and Laura and Cancer Nate and Thea. And I believe Max S is joining for this song. So take it away, guys. I'm super excited. Take me 
soon Cause I am here for a reason Sometimes in my tears I drown But I never let it get me down So when negativity surrounds I know someday it'll all turn around me Cause all my life I've been waiting for I've been praying for to say that we don't want to fight no more there'll be no more wars and our children will play one day one day one day one day one day one day now I got pride deep down inside because I took that action No one can do the work for me God give me satisfaction Sometimes in my tears I drown But I never let it get me down So when negativity surrounds I know someday it'll all turn around Because all my life I've been waiting for I've been praying for all the people to say that we don't want to fight no more. There'll be no more wars and our children will play one day. Lechaim is right for life. Wait, wait, don't don't mute the band yet, Max. Don't go anywhere yet. What what were what's the verse that you wrote? I want you to read that again, please. Don't run away, Max. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> read the verse. Read the verse you wrote. Okay. Uh, okay. It's uh now I've got pride deep down inside because I took that action. No one can do the work for me. God gave me satisfaction. Amen to that. Yeah. Thank you. Look, thank you. Real. Thank you. We're going to talk, we're going to talk more about pride later. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about. That's exactly it. Um, and uh, before we get there, before we get into the drosh and, and those words of Torah, um, this is the moment where we, we uh, give tzedakah we donate to something that matters to us to Beit Shuvah. So rather than make you a specific pitch, I got my reasons why I give to Beit Shuvah and I do. Um, but I wanna ask you, why do you give to Beit Shuvah? Why do you think, why would you encourage somebody else to give to Beit Shuvah? You can unmute yourself. We're gonna see how this goes, <laughs> but give it a try. You can unmute yourself and say, why do you give to Beit Shuvah? Why would you encourage somebody else to give? Go ahead, Kathy. I see you got something to say. <laughs> oh, it's not letting her. Yeah, uh, 
Okay. 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 There I am. Hi. Because of all the things that we all get from Beit Shuva, the community, the love, the learning. I mean, I, you know, it's a way of giving back for everything that we receive. Thank you, Kathy. Mm -hmm. um, Jason, Jesus, to pay it forward what was so generously given to me and so many others to keep the community thriving, Christy says. Ryan does it for the tax write-off. We all have our reasons. Uh, I'm not mad at that. If that's what helps you give money to Beit Shuva, you go get that tax write-off. Uh, go ahead. Because Cole. it helps save lives. Because it saves lives. Yes, Beit Shuva saves lives. We, as Beit Shuva, save lives. Diane also says, says that. Uh, Jamie says that. Go ahead, Cody. I give to Beit Shuva because I can see directly the benefits that it provides to others. Great. Thank you, Cody. Um, Michelle, Carrie, and then I think, yeah. Go ahead, Michelle. Like, good Shabbos. Because it saves lives, it saved my son's life, and it saved countless, countless, countless lives. And I will, as long as I am on this earth, I will forever, forever do whatever I can to help Beta Shuva, Beta Shuva, um, to help to help other people. Thank you, Michelle. Carrie. You're welcome. Yeah, I mean, just to echo everybody else, you know, my life was saved. I averted disaster, right? I think that's out of the big book. But I, you, I wanted to say a teaching that our rabbis rarely bring up anymore. And 1996, when I was in the house and they would talk about tzedakah, I think it was in the old prayer book, it said something along the lines of, even the beggar must give. And what I heard in 1996, when I had just a little bit of cigarette money and maybe somebody buying me a coffee here and there, was that if I had a little bit of extra change or an extra buck, that I too, even though I was being gifted the services of the donations to Beit Shuva, there was always somebody more that needed it more than me. And so even though I had little, almost nothing, I heard that even the beggar must give and I would always throw something in the Sadaka box. So um, I always, when we talk about Sadaka, I'm always like, why don't they say that anymore? So I'm saying it and I'm saying it to everybody including the residents. <laughs> That's right. We don't, it's like what Max said earlier. It's not what somebody else said, but I'm going to go ahead and say it, right? Um, so thank you for bringing that because no matter what I can contribute, when I contribute something, it's another way to know that I matter and I'm a part of something bigger than me. Um, so the beggar must give not just because they received, which is a reason, but the beggar must give because it's a way that all of us know we matter and all of us, um, need that. That's the whole core of what Beit Shuva is. So how do you donate? Um, you have the screen in front of you that tells you how. Um, I believe Jillian posted a link in the chat. Jillian, anything else you want to tell direct folks to about how they can give? Um, no, it's it's on the screen. You can donate through our website, baitshuva.org slash donate. You can donate through Venmo. It's super easy. You just have to open up your camera, hold it over the QR code on the screen, and it'll take you right to Venmo. And I think something that Carrie said is really important. Um, you know, when the boxes were passed around, sometimes if you had a dollar, you put a dollar in. And I think people think maybe we're on Zoom, they have to donate a lot of money. And that's not true. If you have a dollar, donate a dollar. We are grateful for all the help that we get. Thank you, Jillian. Um, thanks, everybody. It's, I love hearing your reasons because these are the reasons that Beit Shuva matters to you. Um, and why our community is really so special. So thank you everybody for, for sharing what you did. Um, and we're gonna go into Chuva. So at Bay Chuva, we do our Chuvas out loud, um, which is to say, this is the time when in front of the whole community, we can express gratitude. And we can say maybe the things we missed up this week that we need to let the community know that we're doing better or we're gonna do better. Um, so if you have a chuva this week, please go ahead and raise your hand. Um, and today we're gonna start in the sanctuary, if that's all right. Uh, so I know there's a few folks in there. So let's start in the sanctuary and then we'll come back to everybody on, um, on Zoom. <laughs> Hello, my name is Noam. 
Uh, to know him with an M, and I'm a grateful member of this community. Uh, today's my last Shabbat. Uh, I work the cameras. I work the cameras, and uh, yeah, and I just want to say my gratitudes. I'm grateful for my friend Daniel. He's also my roommate. I'm grateful for Max over there. I made a music video with him. It was a lot of fun. Grateful for my friend uh, BK over there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Grateful for, I don't know if he's here, uh, Adam. Adam, yeah. yeah. All these friends help me feel pretty comfortable being in, in this place. This is a super, you know, it's just not comfortable being in rehab. And these friends made it pretty comfortable. Um, and I'd like to say my gratitudes to... Um, the, uh, the music department, you know, everyone's pretty awesome. Laura, Nate, Thea, <laughs> you guys are great. It's been great working with you guys. I'd like to say, uh, say my gratitude for my treatment team, Rabbi Joseph, Earl. <laughs> um, who else, who else? <laughs> um, grateful, uh, Grateful for um, HBO, you know, keeps me, keeps, keeps me up. And uh, I'd like to say a uh, <laughs> big gratitude to my once roommate, my boss, and very good friend, Jesse. He's uh, head of the film department. Keep an eye on this film department. It's crazy. We're doing some serious work. Film, again, the film department, crazy work. Um, I've gotten very close with this, with this man, Jesse, and it's been just fucking awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and I'm grateful for Beit Teshuvah, of course. I wouldn't have met any of these people without Beit Teshuvah. I wouldn't be the person I am today without Beit Teshuvah. Um, yeah. And... Oh, yeah. Thank you, Noam. We're going to miss you around here, man. But you know what they say, right? What do they say? Daniel, what do they say? If you don't come back to visit, you'll come back as president. There it is. Okay. Go ahead, Daniel. I also need to give a gratitude um, for Noam. Noam's leaving. He's my room. Um, we're pretty close. <laughs> and, yeah, I think he's going to do great. He's going on a spiritual retreat. Um, God bless you, Noam. And, oh, am I out of the camera? God bless you, Noam. Love you, dude. Um, yeah. Jesse's next. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I also want to give gratitude to, to Noam. Uh, that's Noam with an M. <laughs> um, Noam, I got to like get down here. Noam, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, having you work for me, it's been great. You make this job so entertaining. Uh, you always bring a certain life and a weird smell into the office, <laughs> and, I, and I, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss you while you're gone. Uh, but you're always gonna be a part of my life, and I'm very grateful that I met you. Back to you, Rabbi. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Uh, Sandra. Oh, maybe she maybe she took a little break because her her cute little puppy's up there. Okay, let's go to Josh. No, I'm right here. Oh, okay. I'm right here. I'm right here. Go ahead. Hi, I just want. Okay, Noam. Oh, honey pie. So so happy for you. I wish you all the best in the world. Oh, I'm Sandra. By the way, I'm Sandra Clayton, grateful member of the community, and uh, Noam. You still need to teach me how to blow the shofar. Oh, so um, I want to give a lot of gratitude to everybody in my life right now. I'm turning 50 on next Wednesday. And so I made it this far and I could not have done it without my community, without the help of every single person that has helped me along the way, whether I thought um, they were a teacher or not, they were. 
And I'm just really, 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 really grateful. And um, I'm really also want to just shout out to the Rabbi Joseph's uh, Torah study group that we have on, on Mondays at noon. Everybody can come. We're still doing a community study. And, and the fact that we could all come together, and I know a lot of you are there, Adam's there, Kat's there. I could go down the list. And I love all of you guys so much. And also, those of you who have shown up for alumni group, which is Wednesday at noon, please come be a part of us. If And uh, I just love Beit Shiva community so much. I'm alive now, and it's because of you guys. So Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Sandra. And I owe you a tshuva because for whatever reason, I keep switching the sound of your name in my brain. I apologize for that, and I owe you that tshuva publicly. So... I'll, I'll, I'll keep on it. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Okay, Josh. Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Um, Joshua, grateful member of BTS. And yeah, I, would, I just want to share some gratitude. I mean, I can't even express how grateful I am that, that BTS has given me a, a space and the time to like heal and to work on myself and without that I, I wouldn't be able to be present and be here with my family in North Carolina um, I know it means so much to my grandpa and it means so much to me so thank you all for being a part of my life and and part of my my healing process and uh, shout out to Noah man you know big ups you're gonna do good and, and shout out to Max for that track. All right, you guys, what's up? Thanks, Josh. Um, Orion. Uh, so Ryan, a grateful member of the community. Um, good luck to you, Noam. Um, I wanted to express my gratitude for uh, this Monday, we got to go on a massive hike that at points, I felt like I was going to die, um, to be honest. So, you know, I, I want to express gratitude to Rabbi Miriam. She pushed me through that thing. And we made it to the top. All of us made it to the top. And we all made it back down. And we're all better people for it. So I want to thank Beit Yeshuva for the opportunity to do that. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful for it. Thank you, Orion. Uh, Devin. Hi, I'm Devin. I'm a grateful member of this community. I just wanted to say that I'm really grateful for Beit Shuva and everyone that is associated with Beit Shuva. Um, I really, um, my life is very different. I've been here a little over six months and um, just, I've made so much progress and I'm like looking at like starting a new job that I'm really excited about and um, just really starting my life and um, I'm just so grateful. I, my life has been like permanently changed. And like, like you guys were saying earlier, like this place really changed my life and I love you guys. Thank you, Devin. Max. Hello, Rabbi. Hello everyone. Good Shabbos. Um, yeah, I want to express my, well, a couple things. Uh, today I have five months sober and I'm, I do have a lot of, uh, I'm very proud of that in, a, in you know, in the best way possible, not, not in an ego way, but uh, like I said in the verse, you know, and I've talked with you, Rabbi, about it. Um, I've done a lot of work this time. I've been here before and I, you know, I always joke around with you that my, my rap versus last time was, you know, I came to, came to Beit Shuva and now my life's great. You know, it's just like, I didn't have to do anything. And now it's like, I realized that wherever I go, I take myself and this community is great, but I still have to do the, the work on myself and, uh, you know, I'm doing internal work and I'm also doing some, you know, outside stuff and going to the dentist. I went to the dentist for the first time and like, I don't even know, um, got a wisdom tooth pull and gratitude for the, you know, the, the ability to like do adult things and walk into them without, uh, you know, ha be afraid, but walk through it anyway. And uh, finally, I just want to give a, a big shout out to Noam. Um, he already knows how I feel, man. He's like one of one of my favorite people here. And between him and uh, Rabbi Mikael leaving, I'm having uh, 
I don't know, separation anxiety or something. But uh, yeah, he's a, he's a very cool dude and he's young and I learn a lot from him. And it's pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, look, we, uh, we made this music video for the talent show and I hope everybody tunes in to, to watch it and, and hear it. Cause it's like, it really, really reminded me that I have like, you know, a creative purpose in this world and then there's more to my life than just, you know, getting high. So um, thank you all again and love you. Thanks, Max. Uh, Nathan. <clears throat> Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Uh, it's good to see you all. Um, I just really wanted to express my gratitude to Beit Shiva and uh, to the community and my team um, for, giving me, for giving me the opportunity to and the, the space and time to really work on myself. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm really not just like i'm so used to having that immediate gratification and having that delayed gratification is it's even better um and i mean for myself it's really been it's really been a blessed experience and i'm i'm starting to really i mean i've 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 felt that i've kind of felt at home for the past few weeks and it, it's it's just amazing. This community is amazing. And uh, um, I'm just very grateful. Thank you. Thanks, Nathan. And our last two folks, um, Kathy and then Rachel. Hi, everybody. Good Shabbos. My gratitude is for this community. Um, you guys really hold me and sustain me. It doesn't matter what kind of week I have. I'm always so happy to come here Friday night and join in Saturday morning. And, and it, it just always makes me feel good. I know people really care about me here. And when they say, how are you? And how was your week? It's sincere. It's, it's from the heart. And it may, really makes me feel good. And um, I want to say welcome to my old, old friend, since I'm 10, Joan, who's here tonight. I'm so glad she's here. And Noam, good luck to you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you, Kathy. We definitely cherish you here. Uh, Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm a grateful member of this community. I Every week since I've been out, I've come and made gratitude because I, I am forever in gratitude to a community that I know I can always come to when stuff out here is hard. And I, I love Beit Shuva and I love everybody there. And I just, I am forever in gratitude to you guys. Thank you, Rachel. I'm glad you keep coming back to Shabbos. It's good to have you on the Zoom. I want to come back to visit, not to stay. That's right. <laughs> That's the deal. Um, thank you for all these chuvas. I want to I want to give mine also, um, which is uh, today really for I mean, it won't be surprising um, if you know me to my daughter, Frankie, who's three, because this morning she I was trying to get out of the house. Right. And like get to work. Um, I love coming to work. And she was like, mommy, play with me. And so first we played floor is lava before I left for work. And it just set my heart in a state of play. And um, I uh, am extraordinarily grateful to her. So thank you all for this chuva. We're going to keep going with Yedid Nefesh. Now, let me ask, actually, before we like get back to the music for a second, does your heart feel more open hearing all this? Mine does hearing all this gratitude and all this like care and community. I hope yours does too. Um, we'll keep going with Yedi Nefesh, which is really about longing and opening of the heart. So Ban, take it away. Shut 
Yedi Nefesh is beloved soul, beloved of my soul, beloved soul. And, um, you know, if you're new to Beit Shuva or like you kind of like pop in sometimes, all this stuff about like us, like loving each other and like how amazing this community of people is might sound like, but is it really? No, like actually it is. <laughs> um, we are beloved to each other. I mean, that's, and that's real. And anybody can be a part of it. There's no like, you gotta be in or out. There's no in or out here. It just, if you're here, you're one of us. Um, and I'm glad that each and every one of you is here, including the new residents. So folks, um, this might again, be kind of a shock to be in a treatment center that's also a spiritual community. It might be a little concerning <laughs> that all these people suddenly care about you and you're like, who are you? And why do you care about me so much? O open your heart just a little bit. What if, what if these people care about me as much as they say they do? What if I could care about this community as much as some of these people care about this community? So I wanna welcome Matthew B. I wanna welcome back Teo C, Jeff H, Spencer S, Destiny R, Teresa S and Tom T. Really, really glad you're here. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's not gonna be easy every day might not be easy today. You might not always want to be here. And when things get rough, when you're uh, thinking like, this might not be for me, when you don't know what else to do or who else to turn to, community, what do they need to do? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, Hold on. on. Yeah, that's it. Anybody <laughs> else want to get in there just before we? <laughs> on. There it Hold is. On. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. That's what we do around here. 
um, we hold on, we hold on to each other. Um, and uh, today, uh, and we'll continue now with Lecha Dodi, welcoming in Shabbat, holding on to this tradition of Shabbat, of rest, of a seventh day um, that has been going on for thousands of years because this is, this is what can renew us and renew our souls. Or Betty Borja Kish Miano, El Hameo had a dog nigh a shemo had the shame of Tiferet. Velitila Le Hadoni, Nihi Krakala, Pene Shabbat, Ne Kabela, Li Krat Shabbat, Le Hovenel Haki Himakor. Shabbat's here. It's happening. Do you feel do you feel like there's a shift that happens? The Shabbat presence is here. And this week actually, um, normally on Shabbat, we we celebrate birthdays. So we don't have birthdays to celebrate this week. I'm sure they're happening somewhere. Um, but if you do have a birthday, uh, an anniversary of your sobriety date, um, please do contact Jillian. Jillian, if you put your email in the chat, that would be helpful. Um, so we can celebrate with you and with your people. Um, and we'll keep going with uh, welcoming in Shabbat with the candle lighting um, led, and, and I led by Cantor, Nate and Laura. And Noam, I believe is going to light our candles for us. We'll keep going with the barhu. I 
lai 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 invite you to kind of take a moment take a deep breath i'm gonna do that one more time you can put down your phone and try it too if you happen to be holding your phone take a deep breath inhale Exhale. This is Shabbat. This is the renewal. If you let it, if you let yourself be renewed. Cantor Nate, please take us into the Shema and Ve'a Havta. Shema Yisrael Adonai Adonai Echad Ve'ahavta Eid Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavecha Ufcho nafshecha Ufcho meodecha Ve'hayu Hadavarim ha'ele Asher anochi Metzavecha Hayom alevavecha, veshinanta ham nevanecha, vidi barta bam, beshiv techa bevetecha, uvlech techa vaderech, ukshoch becha ukumecha, ukshartam neod ayadecha, vehayule totafot bein einecha, ukhtav tam. Amizuzot betecha uvisharecha. And to let in some of that, some of that love, some of that open heartedness, you just, you know, I, I learned this teaching I want to share with you before we go into the next song. I learned it from my mother in law, and I believe it's a teaching from the Pizetsna Rebbe. Um, no, sorry, the Kutzka Rebbe. And he says that. Why in the Shema does it say that um, the, the signs of like the Torah, the signs should be on your heart and not in your heart? Why on your heart and not in your heart? Well, because sometimes our hearts are closed. And the Torah, the piece of Torah, that wisdom will just come sit on top of your heart until your heart is ready to open up and receive it. We've, many of us have kind of had to close in over the past many months. Um, and now with people going out on passes and, and um, the world kind of opening up a little bit more again, at least here. Um, and we can feel more open. Our hearts can open up a little more. We can be a little less vigilant, not a lot less vigilant, but a little less vigilant. Maybe some of that wisdom, that Torah, that open heartedness can just like drop right in. And we can um, 
learn what we need to learn. Some of this ahavat olam, some of this big love um, can then, um, we can receive it and then send it back out into the world. And we'll continue with ahavat olam. Cantor Nate, please take it away. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Dory, it was so fun to dance with you. <laughs> okay. Whew. I think I need another deep breath. Can y'all take another deep breath with me? <laughs> Whew. Okay. That was fun. Yeah. All right. So uh, this week uh, at the house, we, there was a meeting on Wednesday. All the chairs were lined up and they were inside and they were not six feet apart. And Zach Jones gets up and he's not wearing a mask. And um, he says, okay, you know, I'm not, uh, this is not gonna be verbatim, but he tells people, he tells all of us that um, for those of us who are vaccinated, we don't have to wear our masks in the house anymore. And it was like, people took off their masks and like threw them up in the air. It was like a graduation ceremony. <laughs> there, was so, there was so much joy. 
and then Russell gets up there. And uh, Russell, I'm sure you're on here somewhere. So, you know, if you want to correct me at all, I welcome that. Well, Russell gets up there and he says um, that his goal at the beginning of this pandemic, which is not over, right? They call it now a pandemic of unvaccinated people. It's not, it's not over and it's certainly not over across the world. Um, the, he gets up there and he says, my goal in all the safety work that he does at Bechuva, his goal is to make sure that no one at Bechuva died. And he got up there and um, said, and I'm proud that that didn't happen. I'm proud that we kept this community safe. And whether it was because, you know, for, for residents, you know, keeping masks on and so and, and distancing, um, same with staff or whether it was staff who didn't come to work even though they wanted to and, and people in the community that didn't come in even though you wanted to because we wanted to keep our community safe. And he was proud of that. He was proud of our effort. So that's what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about pride. Um, I think pride kind of gets a bad rap. It's pride month. So I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about glitter. I'm thinking about rainbows, um, thinking about unicorns, all those good things. Right, Devin? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm also thinking about the pride that gets uh, a bad rap. Uh, usually, um, and, and it, that kind of pride shows up in this week's Parsha in, in Balaam and Balak in that story. So we have Balak, who's a king of Moab, and he wants to defeat the Israelites. Um, and he, he doesn't think he will. He thinks he needs a little intervention. So he seeks out Balaam, who's a kind of prophet wizard. He definitely has some kind of really special relationship with the divine and can hear God. Um, and he's able to bless and curse people. And those are fulfilled. So Balak goes to Balaam and says, I want you to curse these people for me. Now Balak is trying to play God when he does that. Go curse these people for me. And Balaam leads Balak on thinking that he has the power to do that when he knows that the Israelites are a blessed people and that he can't curse a blessed people. That is beyond the limits of his power. But he, after a little resistance, he does go along with Balak anyway. And they do these elaborate sacrifices and they're standing in front of the Israelites, these elaborate sacrifices with, I can't remember the animals. I think it was like nine bulls and nine, I don't know. Let's go with goats. I, honestly, I can't remember right now, but like nine bulls, nine goats, they build these altars. And then from that, they're going to go curse the Israelites. So they do it once and Balaam's like, yeah, dude, I, you know what? This, I don't think this is going to work because they're blessed. So he has to kind of start to come clean, say like, this is actually beyond what I can do. And Balak says, no, no, let's try again. Let's try again. So they he, he literally like moves him like two miles that way to look at the Israelites from another angle. Maybe if we look at them from another angle, we can curse them, right? Like, do you hear the logic in that? It's, it's ridiculous. Maybe if, maybe if we go stand over there, it'll be okay to curse them. But he does that three times because Balak's trying to play God. And Balaam is along for the ride. And he's also testing the limits of his power. And, and that's why pride gets a bad rap pride um when it's out of uh out of balance when it's not in proper measure it keeps me keeps you keeps balak and balam from seeing our own limitations and we think we can control the things we can't control and we focus on that we focus on that um especially in the first three steps we focus on that in talking about willingness but there's, there's something else that we're missing when we do that. And, and I, it, it's not that, that part is obviously extremely important in our recovery programs, but the piece that we're missing is, is a, a piece that Max alluded to earlier, 
which is the pride of doing the work. The pride of controlling the things I can, of changing the things I can. And then that pride itself becomes a motivation for being in recovery. It's not, it is willingness and submission and letting go. And it is also, I can do this. It is up to me. My chuva is up to me and no one can do it for me. It is showing up. It is doing your house job. <laughs> it is um, uh, going out into the world and doing something scary like getting a job. It is, it is doing all of those things that um, are within my power to control my own agency. And when I control the things I can, when I change the things I can, I feel pride about it. I feel joyful about it. Um, and then recovery itself becomes joyful. Recovery itself becomes joyful. At the end of this whole scene, Balaam, um, he stands over the Jewish people and not only does he not curse them, but in recognizing his limitations, he blesses them. And he says, Ma tovu olecha Yaakov, mishkanotecha of Yisrael. So he says, how good are you, the tents of Jacob, the dwellings of Israel? Because when you're working a program, your vision changes. Your vision changes and you can see the goodness and you can see the joy and you can see that it's not like it is sometimes, which is like slogging it out, but it's also like this incredible way of living that breathes life into every moment. And I'm not, this is not bullshit for me. This is, this is how I live. This is what motivates me. I know that if I work my program, I know that if I live in Shuva, I will live joyfully. Um, and, and that's what I love about this community. That's what I loved about being together on Friday nights in person. And we, we get that over Zoom too, is that we are, we are joyful to be alive and to be living in Shuva. And how good are our tents? And is so is such a blessing to um, take pride in this community with you, Russell, and with everybody who kept us uh, safe so far through COVID. Um, thank you all for doing your part, and um, we will uh, keep going with Ma Tovu.
me with kindness. Show me your sweet and saving truth. Remove me from my blindness. Matovo lechayako. Matovo lechayako. Mishkenote. Beautiful. Continue with Ose Shalom. Thank you, Noam, and to the band. And I love all the dancing. Yes, very, very, very nice people in the front. I see you. <laughs> um, so while we while we embrace the the joy of uh, of a Friday night of um, renewing our souls, we also know there are people in our lives that need a little extra healing, a little extra love sent their way. Um, if there's anybody in your life that needs a little extra love, a little extra healing, I want to invite you to unmute yourself and say their name or put their name in the chat. Josh Kaplan. Jennifer uh, Weller. Elliot Weller. Uh, family. Lisa Blumenthal. Retray. Jack Shamama. 
Kyle Butler. Kyle Butler. Me sometimes. Heidi Newman. Evelyn. Judy. Chelsea. Rachel. Everyone. Thank you, everyone, um, for offering these names. And um, Cantor Nate, if you would lead us in the Misha Barach for the sick, please. <laughs> May the Holy Blessed One bring them um, peace and recovery and health in body, mind, and spirit. And let us say amen. And we continue now with uh, the mourner's Kaddish. Um, if there's anybody for whom you are in mourning, whether it's within the year of mourning or um, it's an anniversary of that person's death. If you would please share their name with the community, either in the chat or by unmuting yourself. Sylvia Matt. Oh, Apple Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> My mother, Kayla Goldman. Anne Hansen. Bobby Raven. Elvis Siegel. Mark Bader. And Weller, and Andrew Walker, Robert Cleveland, Arnold Familian, and Audrey, Jaron Zisner. Thank you, and I'll, I'll read the names um, of folks uh, from the year of mourning. David Amdur, Paul Applebaum, Shelley Balloon, Joshua Bloom, Stanley Cohen, William Cohen. Stephanie Coleman, Arnold Familian, Melissa Gallagher, Arsenio Garcia, Ryan Copal, Ned Lerman, Sylvia Macta, Danielle Molina, Diana Newman, Ari Osteen, Amy Palubiki, Medina Perez, Stephen Polak, Ida Portillo, Philip Sakartoff, Mark Schulen, Jeff Tamayo, Al Unger, Zach Woolman, and Steve Zimmer and the art sites, the anniversary of the death of William Klein, Gloria Stawitzki, Seymour, Joseph Frommer, Joel Siegel, Jonah Goldrich, Evie Blau, Walker Bennett, uh, Daniel Reed, and Phyllis Lemberger. I'm going to invite you now to find a seat or a stand, a position of dignity. And I'll share my screen with you to share the Warner's Kaddish, which we can oversight together. And actually, I, I want to also invite when we were together in person, we used to stand near one another. 
so that nobody stood alone in Kaddish. So if you yourself are not saying Kaddish, I want to invite you to kind of put your hands over your heart um, as a gesture of letting uh, mourners know that you're with them. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah be'alman divrach yirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayichun uv'yomechun v'chayi d'chol b'it Yisrael v'agala uv'izman kari v'yimru amen yehei shemei rabah mevarach le'olam ulamei almaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nasei Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shame de Gudusha, Brihu. Le Ela, Min Kolber Hatava Shirata, Tushbehata, Venechamata, Da Amiran, Beoma, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shlama, Rabba, Min Shemaya, Vahayim, Aleinu, Vel Kol Yisrael, Vel Kol Yoshe Tevel, Vimru, Amen. O say Shalom be Romav. Huya se shalom aleinu vel kol Yisrael vel kol Yoshe Tevel v'imru amen. May the source of peace bring peace to all who mourn, um, and to everyone on earth. Amen. Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you all for coming together, for being together on this Friday night. A few announcements, uh, y'all. Max mentioned it. I want to make sure you hear it again. I just want to like sizzle this into your brain a little bit. Saturday, July 10th at 7 p.m., our annual talent show. Folks have been working on their acts really hard. Some of it's pre-recorded. Oh, yeah. Do you see the band is like, I don't know what that was, but they're excited. <laughs> um Please join us for the talent show. You can find the link on our website. Uh, also, uh, Beit Shuva and the Lane Breslov Institute invite you to a talk with Andrea Sonenberg as she shares her own experience with the mental health care system, how it failed her son and her rallying cry for change, followed by a panel discussion on Beit Shuva's integrative treatment model. And that's July 14th at 7 p.m. Um, also on Zoom. Uh, the Family Education Support Group is weekly with founder Harriet Rosetto. If you have, like, if you don't know Harriet yet, please know Harriet. Any chance you get to learn from her and with her is an incredible opportunity. Please take that opportunity. Um, and that's on Wednesdays from 6 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. also on Zoom. And Hala is back, everybody. So pre-order it. Um, you can go to bakedchuva.org bakedchuva.org to order your challah. Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you to the band, to Cantor, Nate, and Thea, and Jesse, and Laura, um, to everybody behind the scenes, to Brandon, and Daniel, um, and Jesse, and Noam. Uh, and thank you to Doria and Max um, for jumping in and sharing their musical talents with all of us. Um, Cancer Nate, did I miss anybody? I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. You got pretty much everyone. You double Max. We'll double up on the Max. There's a Max, Max in the studio making us sound good as well. So excellent. Uh, oh, so Max is in the, the studio. Residents. Thank you, Max. Yeah, I want to thank the the residents that joined us tonight. Thank you, Dory. I know I'm and Max. It was great having you. So. I really appreciate it. No, um, best of wishes to you, man. This is a great journey. So, and I want to thank Rabbi Carey as well for being our spiritual guide for this evening. It was a wonderful night. So, thank you very much. We're gonna do Kiddush and Motzi. I'm gonna do it solo. So here we go. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Bore peri hagafen. Amen. Baruch atadonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Amen. Amen.
Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos.